it's welcome rain, but of course, when it comes down too hard like that, it just causes more problems. I don't know if sweeping was really that effective, though. I'm hoping that he was kind of just trying to clear a storm drain. Like right. maybe there were leaves and maybe trash kind of so. stuck to the drain. Because that would make sense. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know what that guy was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really go up well against Mother Nature. No, it's too much water, and I just don't think the broom is going to do it. <laughs> we could definitely use the rain. Hopefully not that much, because no. we would also see some flooding concerns. What we need is a decent amount of rain spread out over about 8, maybe 12 hours, so you get it. A give a, a give it enough time to kind of absorb and get into the soil and things like that. But if you get it too quick, it just kind of runs right off the surface and causes all of that flooding. Here's a look out towards Newport right now. It is a beautiful day out there. Very comfortable. Lots of sunshine. We're a bit warmer than we were yesterday. You're already up to 81 degrees in Providence, 77 for Smithfield, westerly 76. And it's just really going to continue to be a great end to your day. 75 for Coventry, Glendale looking at 74 degrees. Threat Tracker, we're in the green for today. Today, tomorrow, and even into most of the weekend, potentially even the start of next week, we are just seeing very quiet weather for our region. Now, quiet means no chances for rain. Unfortunately, we're still going to look pretty dry out there. We did see some rain yesterday, not really too much of an impact. You're looking at about 0.03 for Providence, uh, just over uh, about 15 one hundredths of an inch for Westerly, Newport 0.15. All in all, pretty dry out there. Live radar not showing any activity right now either. And a little bit of cloud coverage that we're dealing with right now, that's all going to continue to kind of lift across our area. The low pressure that moved uh, or east of our area yesterday, causing us that chance for showers. That is continuing to lift up to the north, taking the cloud coverage and a little bit of chance for some showers away from our area. It also kept us nice and breezy this morning. We saw that wind pretty much straight out of the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour gusting upwards of almost 27 to 30. Now the good news is that is going to start to subside for the second half of the day. And I say good news because the windy conditions mixed with how dry we are right now, we actually have a red flag warning in effect for our area. Really that elevated risk for us some fire weather. It's because again, low humidity, warmer temperatures, the wind gust, and really just the fact that things are so dry across our area prompting that risk for some fire weather. So uh, good news that the wind will be tapering off relatively shortly later this afternoon. Beach forecast, it was a beautiful day to get outside and enjoy that sunshine, get down towards the coast, uh, get into the water, just enjoy your afternoon. Now, as we look at the next couple of days, we're going to see things start to change. It's going to be a bit warmer tomorrow as well as for Saturday. We're back up into the upper 80s, closer to almost 90, but where we're really going to notice a big difference is the increase in humidity. We have been very dry recently with those dew points in the 50s. And as we look forward to tomorrow and Saturday, we're going to bump back up into the humid category with those dew points back above that 60 degree mark. So it's going to be feeling a lot more summer like really hasn't felt like that hot and humid August weather that we're used to. And then next week we're tracking more chances for some rain. So hopefully we can get a little bit of moisture across our area. All right. Well,